We've got the sea, we've got the mountains. Where are we, Chris? We are in Asturias. Welcome to Deepest Darkest Spain. Yay! Once again. It's been a while since the last time we did this, but the other day something happened and we were like, okay, it's the first time that we are not filming and something actually happens. And we survived a storm that actually took our tent away. Okay, it was... The tent was rattled, but like, there was like gusts of up to 100 mile an hour wind and our tent is like 20 years old, so yeah, it took a battering and we ended up having to sleep in one of the... In the baby's toilet. Yeah, baby's toilet, a spare emergency room. Which yeah. is, honestly felt like we were in a war zone because of the noise outside and we were sleeping on the floor. But uh, we survived! Yeah, it was a bit scary and we decided to move on in our trip and we came to Asturias, that is a really lovely region, a very um, culture rich, um, cider rich, cachopo, mountain, sea, everything, so come and discover it with us. So as Chris said, uh, well, we're on our way to the beach just now, going down some craggy old cliff. Uh, as Chris said, we weren't planning on making a video, but here we are. And I think we're going to take the opportunity just to say that recently we bought so much new equipment and I don't know, I think we were getting more distracted with the equipment rather than the videos. So we're doing a stripped back, bare minimal, only camera, no gimbal, no drone, ni nada. And uh, we're going to hopefully produce a good quality video to provide some inspiration for you guys. So, you know, you don't need to spend a fortune on getting all this equipment. Okay? We're going to try our best. Leave a comment if you think it's good. Look at this. Something. The good thing to come in the north is that it's not as busy as the south. The weather is not always good, obviously, but when it's good, it's so much better. And when it's not that good, you can go and see little villages and explore gastronomy and drink cider. And drink cider. That's so nice. So you don't only need the beach and sangria, there's a world up here in the north. Well, so we were in the beach for a while and now we're back to the base camp. Let me show you. Yay! And that's, well, one of the hard things of camping is thinking about the, your own food all the time when you only have one of those bellies, like that is the only thing we have, really. But luckily for me, I have this guy. Hiya. And he made me some 
What did you do, Johnny? Uh, chicken pasta pesto. Oh, yeah. Or as some people say, pesto pasta, which is wrong. Pasta pesto. Well, the good thing here is that we have our cider too. Woohoo! Hola, sirve, Johnny, sirve. May not be pretty. No, it's lovely. It's nutrition. Well, as you know, we're camping up here in the north of Spain. We've been in Cantabria and now we're in Asturias. Since we're in Llanes, we're staying in this uh, campsite called Entre Playas, meaning between beaches. And of course, there's a reason for that. Just outside our campsite is one beach. And on the other side where we were this morning is another beach. It's amazing how close we are. Look, there's just some just that path and then you're at the beach. Obviously, the beach isn't there just now, but earlier this morning there was. So yeah, if you're going to come to Yanis, I would suggest this campsite. Oh. Pobre baby. So we've just spent the day in the beach and at the camp, you've seen both, and now we're going to go into the town centre of Yanis, which is this uh, really nice very nice, it's the first one of the video. It's very nice. Uh, <laughs> well, first of all, you need to know the geography of, uh, of this region. If you're not interested, just skip forward about 30 seconds. That's why I don't like jam. Anyway, <laughs> so here we are in Yanis. Let's go and discover more of it. Yeah, we're going to see the village a little bit. We're going to eat something. I'm going to try to make this guy have some cabrales cheese. No, I had it yesterday. No, but more. It's never enough. And now we're in the port. Lovely port. With lovely sun. How was it, Chris? Eh? How nice did you say it is? Super, very nice. the year but during high season it swells about three times that number and it's popular because of its beaches, its food and its drink and we're going to sample two of those things right now and there's some music going on right now. Ooh. As this is our first time here we have not really any recommendations of where to go. We're going to go to some places and if they're good we'll let you know and if they're bad we'll let you know. of the last hopefully. It's delicious, you can smell it but it's so nice, it's called Cabrales cheese and actually years ago I've been in, a, in the place where they make them, they make them in caves and cheese gets like blue thingies, super nice, if you come here you have to try it. You have to. No. No. So we've probably mentioned many times now that the normal drink to have here is citra or cider. But there's a knack to it. It's not like British cider where you just get a draft and pour it like this. You've got to pour it from a height so you get the, the carbonation so it gets fizzy. The thing is there's a tradition that you only pour a little bit. As much as you can, and then a little bit at the end, so you wash it and pass it on. Wrong so I'm going to show you right now the perfect example of it. <laughs> Watch this. Vete, vete, vete lejos, porque no me vas a mojar. Pero. Okay, you know, the one you're using 
Cheers. Cheers. 